of you there. You got temperature in your bin. All right. Yep. Cool. Now is that degrees Fahrenheit? Yeah, degrees Fahrenheit, and this will be the bottom of the bin. Yep. Six will be the bottom. Okay. And then one will be the top. So how full is the bin now? Mm. How many rings down is it? Two, is, isn't it? Yeah, it's because you essentially have two a, a, a sensor per ring. Max air temperature. We don't need it to run at 95 degrees, so I usually leave that around 70, 75. 70 is good this time of the year. You, you know, you're pretty rare that you're going to get a 70 degree day anymore this time of the year, so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it getting too warm. Um, minimum air temperature. This is where if you guys are going to want to freeze this. I don't know where you're, I think you said you're a little drier than what you like to be in your video or whatever, but um, if you get to the point where you think you're going to have moisture in the bin and and you're un, unsure that it's going to keep, you're going to want to change that minimum air temperature down to like 30 and then it'll allow it to run, you know, to the point where it'll freeze the grain if you need to. So, okay. Um, otherwise, generally we don't like to pr promote freezing the grain. It, uh, cr it expands the kernel and it'll crack the kernel a little bit and then, you're, and then you know, you okay. create fines. So. Uh, corn type, you got corn and soybeans in this one. Just corn. Yep, no, I'm just saying you have oh. the, 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 the option for corn or soybeans oh, okay. in this okay. one. Okay. Um, you guys ever get into anything goofy like wheat or, or oats or rye or something like that, we can always add that in here at any given time. So. Okay close out of there and we're going to open into the moisture controls we're going to turn those bad boys on and right now what this screen is telling me right now is that i'm telling the controller that the grain in the bin is 18. okay so yep. obviously we don't have that we're, we're what do you think the average across the in the bin is hopefully 15. i mean are you guys satisfied with the moisture that's in the bin you're not trying to dry any more take any more moisture no. out of it okay no. So that in that scenario, we're going to go directly to a storage mode. We're okay. going to put the controller in storage mode, to tell, and we're going to tell it that, hey, we're happy with the moisture in the bin. We don't want to gain or, or, or reduce the moisture in there, but yet we're going to cool it off to what we're looking for. Okay. In order to do that, we're going to tell, tell it that we're at 15. And then we're going to set the target moisture at 15 also. Okay. That basically tells the controller that we got 15 grain in there, and that's what we we're shooting for, so we're all happy. Okay. okay. Um, the plus minus moisture is what it's what you're going to allow it to run in order to cool the grain down. Okay. Um, right now it says 0. 0.5. Basically, it's going to run the controller or run the fan from 14 and a half to 15 and a half to cool the grain down. You're pretty good on the cool. I would actually open that up to about a one, one and a half right now just because I know you're probably going to dump some more on top yep. of this thing eventually. Yeah. So um, so then when it comes time, yep. narrow that back down to kind of a narrow... Well, you're going to get you're going to get pretty close. It's just that you got to remember that at a one and a half, now that's going to allow it to run clear down to 13 and a half and all the way up to 17 and a half. You're shooting for an average. You're not shooting <clears throat> for an exact thing. Yep. If you get to the point where you're close and you want to narrow that window down, that's up to you. That's, okay. that's totally up to you guys. What that does is it, you'll notice that the fan will run a lot less because okay. it's trying to stick itself in that little window. Mm -hmm. so, um, and the bigger that number is, the more the fan will run trying to get trying to get it cooled off. So, um, EMC limit is going to be when if you ever like next say next year you dump 17 percent or 18 percent in this bin, which it will handle quite quite readily because you guys are ahead of this curve a little bit. You got you got your corn out fairly early compared to a lot of people here. The earlier you get it out, the longer, more window you give Mother Nature to work with you. Mm -hmm. um, EMC, the EMC limit is is the limit, like if you were to tell it that there's 18 in there, that's the limit that it'll dry, plus okay. minus the dry. Okay. So, CEMC value, that uses the temperature in the bin when you're drying, as in, okay, um, let's say you dump out of this bin at 85 degrees for some reason, hmm. and into this bin. now. Obviously, this, the, the moisture capability of the air that's in the bin is higher than what the air would be outside today, so then it'll use that factor into the drying factor. Okay. Um, same thing if you just dump 18% corn in there and it's, say you combine it when it was 70 degrees out and, you're, and it's, you know, 35, 40 degrees out, it, there's going to be heat in that bin mm -hmm. that you're going to be able to use and harness in order to be able to, to affect dry, drying the grain. Okay. 
nice thing about it is a lot of the settings the basic stuff is all right here in the in the in the okay so <laughs> so when all else fails just refer to that <laughs> yeah and and the thing of it is once you're online there's a there's a wizard online that just you, you answer six questions and hit send and it'll actually preset everything for you okay. it give you a, it'll give you a good a good starting place anyway so but but it'll ask you know what season it is what what your grain you know moisture is in the bin and then what you're shooting for and a couple other little odds and ends and then you hit send and it presets everything for you so. All right. um, now we're going to enable the grain temp controls this is where we're going to start working now target temp i'm going to shoot for 35. Um, you guys have dry grain in there 35 is going to be plenty cool for you that'll store you clear in the next fall if you have to at Good. 35 degrees yep. um, are you going to leave it in there and clear until next fall we'll have to see what the markets do <laughs> yeah <laughs> it'll be next june probably there you go um and, and the trick of it is is after you notice it's all fully cooled off you can come out here and just shut it off you know um keep an eye on it online or whatever or if you guys like to cycle your fans come out and click it into automatic when the temperature is close to what the average temperature is in the bin because the controller won't allow it to turn on let's say it's it, the grain average temperature grain is 40 degrees in here right now mm -hmm. if it's 70 degrees out the controller won't allow it to come on because we don't want to make moisture in that bin mm -hmm. we're not going to condensate in that right. bin okay right now the air temperature outside is 40 degrees is red right here by this little guy okay 84 okay. percent humidity red right here if we were to turn the fans on fan on right now on this bin we'd be pumping 17.6 percent moisture air into that or making 17.6 corn <laughs> okay. right and that's that's the whole purpose of the controller is to you know obviously you know now if we turned it on and and use the cemc which is 40 degrees in there you'd be making 13.4 just because there's a little bit of difference there's one degree difference in temperature okay so hmm. on the average of the grain static pressure that uh that'll let you online when you're online with it that'll let you know whether or not uh, fans are on. the fan is, has run or is running it says fan status on right now because i haven't reset it that's there's a 30 minute cycle on these things so if it turns on it's going to run 30 minutes if it turns off it's going to stay off for okay minutes. that way you don't have that if it if like somebody walks past here and, and warms it up by chance or something and it'll it'll okay. so if i go to automatic <coughs> and now just to test this thing i'm going to go in here and i'm going to monkey with it just to make sure that the automatic function works mm -hmm. we're going to go in here and tell it that we got high moisture corn in here go down here to this i'm going to crank this up five this gives me a five point window plus or minus 15 right now it'll only work up to the, your target so like if you put it if you put your target at 15 and then you tell it you got eight there it goes so okay. it's calling for drying right now okay cool if you just flip this on and think it's going to come on and stay on all the time no it'll, yeah. only, it'll only work like in the mornings like now and in the afternoons when the humidity gets higher Okay. And then it'll only run until it can't 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 see a difference in the bottom of that bin. So, okay. so it just extends your window is all it does. So, like you're probably used to this one over here where you just base the it's on yep. right. all the time, but you're stirring the grain in there. Right. This isn't stirring the grain, and you're only trying to get about an eight there to kick down. You're only okay. trying to get an eight degree rise on the on the bottom of the bin. bin so. Okay. Cool. That's it, boys. That's it's simple or you know from for the most part it's simple mm -hmm. and it'll, it'll actually look a lot easier on your ipad or on your computer too okay. so, i mean everybody's some people like this some people like the ipad the ipad has the same same uh, uh menus so to speak but you got a lot more background information that you can access to so, okay so, you know, like next year just for food for thought um, I know you're always kind of pinched for time waiting for this thing to catch up. Dump it at 18. Let this thing do the, do the last two, three points. Cool. Okay. Because then you're waiting for that one to catch up anyway, or for the next batch in that one anyway. Yeah. Or if you, if you happen to get a year where you're straight out of the field at 17, 5, 18, pump, pump, you know, pump this one half full and okay. let her work. So awesome. Assuming you don't get too late in the year. Yeah. yeah. If you get too late in the year where there isn't a lot of a lot of mother nature left to help you out, 
There you go. So. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. Easy cheesy. So we got a new moisture tester. The last one went haywire. What model is this? What brand? Uh, Dickie John. This is Dickie John too. Twelve. 15.7, so 0.3. Oh, it even tells us the temperature of it. Let's say the temperature is 46 degrees. <laughs> So we got the agar dry bullseye all set up now and Travis and I just went up and we tried to level off the bin a little bit. Now Ross installed this little uh, sampling area here because the door does not have a smaller door on it that we can open up like the Sioux bin does so that we can take a sample out at the bottom. So we have this handy dandy little hand auger here that we can put in here. All you gotta do is twist this off, pull that out you can tell there's definitely pressure there from the fan running. So it says 14 on the bottom. Which is gonna happen because the air is coming up from underneath, so it's gonna drive the stuff to the bottom first. Yep. So we're aiming for a 15 average, which with 16 on top and 14 on bottom, that is a pretty good average, but. So we're standing here next to the agri-dry system. We are going to set the moisture as 16%. We, I think we had it as like 16.2, but um, we wanna make sure that for the most part, the bin's around 15%. Yeah, we took a sample out at the bottom, and it's 14%, but that's down way at the bottom. So um, we're looking for an average. Usually the bottom is going to be a little overly low. So we're gonna set it for 16. We're not running any heat on this bin. Now, right now, the grain temperature is sitting at 46 degrees Fahrenheit average. And uh, there you can see all the sensors, the first sensor is at the top of the bin. So let's go back up. So we've set the current moisture for 16 and our target moisture for 15. So every now and then we're gonna have to keep coming back and checking on the bin to make sure that it's not, you know, things are going still pretty good. We have to manually check the moisture, but we can use that to determine when the fan is going to run and when it isn't. The system has all of the algorithms and everything already in it, so it knows when to turn the fan on. Now, when I got here, the fan wasn't running, but I've heard it click on and off here several times over the course of a day. So right now, the fan is not turned on. When I flip this to automatic, it's either going to run or it's not going to, depending on how the current conditions are um, as far as factoring in your temperature and your humidity and the temperature inside the bin. So let's flip it down to automatic. And that's gonna run for a while. So the goal here is to lower the moisture of the corn in the bin and use the least amount of electricity possible. I think it's a pretty sweet setup myself. 
Um, if we could, I would like to set one up on the Sioux bin, but they say that they, you can't do that with stirator bins. And uh, with the um, with the sensors in the bin, I don't really blame them. So anyway, we're gonna let that run. I just want to give Ross a big thank you for bringing down the Hagger Dry system. It's I think it's gonna come in real handy. Um, and if we ever decide to put beans in this bin for whatever reason, maybe sometime in the future where we want to make this a bean bin, we can rehydrate the beans that way and get some of our money back. Because with beans, you want to aim for around 13% moisture, but if they're a little bit dry, you can add moisture back into it. So with that, I'll let you all go. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And with that, we'll see you next time.